kids. My name is Captain Coolimbus. You probably know me as one of the world's most famous time travelers. Today, I want to introduce my new interactive cooking show, a time traveler's guide to past delinquencies. Yes. You see, the life of a time traveler is not just about temporal paradoxes and accidental affairs with dead ancestors. Sometimes we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the cultures of the past and discover wonderful dishes that have long since been lost. So let's get cooking. My assistant, Big Flimbo, will guide you to our order. Tamales. What a tremendous piece of history. You can find them as early as 9000 years BC. Everyone was eating them. The Mayans, the Aztecs, the Toltecs, you name it. They were wolfing down tamales as if there was no tomorrow. And for many of them, there wasn't. Mm -hmm. When Captain Coolimbus made his first trip to Tenochtitlan, it was right after Hernan Cortes freed the place from the tyranny of the old gods. Back then, people were putting all types of shit in their tamales, flamingos, axolotls, even some human meat. Let me tell you, our conquistadors, they were quite disgusted by that stuff. But would you know it, very soon, everyone was eating tamales, even our good people of Europe. Of course, now we can find you bland tamales all over the world, from New York to Beijing. But let me tell you this. No tamales would ever taste better than the one Cortez and his men ate looking down at the doomed splendor of the Mesoamerican civilization. Oh, that's that's our training program. I don't know why that loaded now, sorry. Um, uh, don't panic, I will fix it and we will get back to cooking very soon. Uh, in the meantime, just relax.
Hey, look at you, you made it. Did you like it? If so, please share, subscribe, and give me that five star rating. It's, it's good coffee, yeah, mm -hmm. very, very good coffee, mm -hmm. anyway, um, thank you for your rating, and did you ever wonder how it feels like to travel back in time and get to discover some awesome dishes of the past, lucky you, because we developed some new type of simulation that will allow you to experience time travel at home, yeah. So, are you ready to dive headfirst into the mucus of history, the dawn of man, the primordial orgy of civilization? Then just follow me to the stone. Archaeologist will tell you. Archaeologist will tell you that dinosaurs had feathers. These guys. 
They think that by reading some books and collecting some bones, they will understand how things were in the moist bowels of time. I have been there in the flesh, and I can tell you, dinosaurs had no feathers. <laughs> Historians will tell you that Homo sapiens prevailed over the Neanderthals because of better tools and cultural assimilation. But in truth, the Neanderthals were simply lousy cooks. Couldn't get a steak right if their life depended on it. Mm -mm. Archaeologists will tell you who invented fire. That's the big one, you know. That is the question. I wasn't there, mm -mm. but I can tell you one thing about the people who invented fire. It wasn't the vegans. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, excuse me. Anyway, did you like it? Uh, I admit it can feel awkward sometimes. We are going to the past, stealing some recipes, but keep in mind, the past, by definition, has already happened. So it's totally fine to profit from it. Mm -hmm. Captain Coolimbus visited the Caribbean sometime around the second half of the 19th century. Back then, the British had already abolished slavery, which came with some complications. Who was going to work the plantations? So the British thought, let's just invite our friends from India. Yes, and so they did. Gave the Indians some fake contracts and got them to work. And the Indians came with the curry dishes. That's how you get the Caribbean Colombo chicken. A marvelous blend of cultures spanning the world. A tasty ejaculate of the global working force. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to french fries, you have to understand that oil used to be a rich person's game. It's only in the second half of the 19th siècle that the French used their colonies to produce peanut oil for the masses. Yes. After that, fries quickly became the food of the proletariat. A little oily crunchiness, crunchiness, crunchy, crunch. Crunchiness for the laboring man. the Caribbean sometime around the second half of the 19th century. Back then, the British had already abolished slavery, which came with some complications. Who was going to work the plantations? So the British thought, let's just invite our friends from India. Yes, and so they did. Gave the Indians some fake contracts and got them to work. And the Indians came with the curry dishes. That's how you get the Caribbean Colombo chicken. A marvelous blend of cultures spanning the world. A tasty ejaculate of the global working force. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to 
French fries? You have to understand that oil used to be a rich person's game. It's only in the second half of the 19th century that the French used their colonies to produce peanut oil for the masses. Yeah. Hey, look at you, you made it. Did you like it? If so, please share, subscribe, and give me that five star rating. I sense that you are thirsty for the time traveling high again. Do Neanderthals weren't enough? Do you need more middle aging? Kings and queens and little peasant boys? Okay. Then follow me to the dark ages. A god of the past, not the Jesus man, an older god of the pagan kind. Maybe some time traveler, who knows? It might even have been me. Have you ever gotten diarrhea? You surely never had that sweet medieval shit tornado. Believe me, drink water from that well and you reach new levels of consciousness. The peasants of the Middle Ages, they weren't really great cooks to be honest. It's far more fun to steal some recipes from the Mayans or the ancient Arabs. Yet here we are, because everyone is obsessed with castle and nightmare princesses. Mm. Did you just eat that? Didn't I tell you never to eat food from the past? You can watch how they cook, get that recipe, but never eat it. I guess maybe I didn't tell you. I mean, you know. This is a simulation, but the way these things work is that we extract data from the past and... Who am I kidding? You wouldn't understand. What's happening? You broke it? You totally broke it?
coffee. Who doesn't love some good warm cup of that dark juicy sludge? When the Turks brought that sexy concoction to Europe, not only did they produce what some called the Great Awakening, pumping some caffeinated first for discovery into the dried up veins of the good people of the old world, it also allowed us to get filthy rich. Yes, 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 yes. Without all those coffee plantations, there would be no time traveling today, you know, because progress is not cheap. And what about those granola bars, Gran Gran granola, granola bars, yes. Yeah. Hmm, what about them? Did you know that back in the 19th century, they didn't just want to make a good cereal bar, no. They were aiming to create a new food for a new superhuman being. Healthy, strong, vegetarian and pure. A new man with the strength to conquer it all. Start the simulation. Reboot the whole thing. You see, the problem with food is that it contains, we call them tasty rays. I guess you might call them ghosts or something, but we specialists, we call them tasty rays. Tasty rays have been unleashed. What have you done? A time traveler is supposed to go back in time, steal some recipes and bring them back. Then you can do what you want with them. Open a franchise or whatever. But you do not eat them on sight. Anyway, we start that simulation quickly now. There must be a switch somewhere. Go! about all those recipes we stole from them. But we are from the present. We can do what we want with the past. It has already happened.
That's the switch. Reboot. Come on. Hey kids, my name is Captain Coolimus. You probably know me as one of the... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not, not feeling it. Wait, wait. Oops. 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 I'm sorry. Oops. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling that good. I think that, that could not be cheap. Oh god. Oops. All those, all those tasty rhymes. Oh god, can you just cut it? Cut it, let's just make a break, right? I'm sorry. Come on.